Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw a scale line triangle given one angle and its two adjacent sides, as can be seen here on the screen. The first step is we draw, at the bottom of the screen, we draw a horizontal line. And on the left side of this line, we will locate a point, which we will call A, as shown here. The next step is we are going to transport the given angle A onto this horizontal line. To do this, with any radius, we scribe an arc, which cuts the two sides of our given angle at points 1 and 2, as can be seen here. And now, with the same radius, setting it on point A of our horizontal line, we scribe an arc until it cuts our horizontal line at a new point, which we will call point 3. as shown here. The next step is setting our compass on point 1 and with radius 1, 2 we are going to transport this radius onto the previously uh, drawn arc. So setting our compass on point 3 we scribe an arc until it cuts our previously drawn arc at a new point which we will call point 4. To continue with the ruler, we will draw a line from point A through point 4, a prolongated line as shown here. So the next step, setting our compass to the given side B, we are going to transport this length onto the horizontal line, setting our compass on point A and scribing an arc. This cuts the horizontal line at a new point, which will be the vertex C of the scale line triangle that we are going to draw. The next thing, we will join vertex A and vertex C with a thicker line, as shown here. And this will be our side B of the scale line triangle. To continue, setting our compass to the length of the given side C, and setting our compass on point A, we scribe an arc until it cuts our previously drawn prolongated line at the third vertex, which is vertex B, as seen here. And again, we using a thicker pencil, we will join vertex A to vertex B. And of course, this will be side C of the scale line, which is opposite angle C. And finally, to complete our scale line triangle, we will join vertex C to vertex B. And of course, this will be side A, which is opposite angle A. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you. And um, please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next time, thank you.